Abernathy, what was your first reaction tonight to word that James Earl Ray had escaped from prison? Well, it merely confirmed the belief that I've had all along, and that is that James Earl Ray was not alone in the killing of Dr. King, that it was a part of a conspiracy, and I do not believe that James Earl Ray has escaped. I believe that he was let out of the prison, out of the penitentiary. It is a part of a scheme to actually silence this voice, which I believe, if it's heard, is going to implicate a lot of people in very high places in this country. Do you fear that uh, his life is in danger now that he's out of prison? I feel that his life is in great danger. And my recommendation to Mr. Ray would be to turn himself in to prison authorities as soon as is humanly possible. This is merely a scheme to get rid of James Earl Ray. And I call upon President Carter to intercede at once within this case because poor people and black people and good-thinking Americans are not going to be misled in believing that James Earl Ray could have escaped from a maximum security institution. He was let out, and this is merely another design to silence individuals as the killer of the uh, individual who killed uh, the President of the United States, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And we want to get to the truth of this matter, and we're not going to ever get to the truth of it unless the President of the United States, Mr. Carter, really take a firm stand and, and see to it that the governor moves to see that justice is done. James Earl Ray has escaped from prison before. When Martin Luther King Jr. was shot down in Memphis, Ray was a fugitive from a life sentence for murder in Missouri. Now Ray is on the loose again, and King's former associates are angry and suspicious. I think he's not interested in me. I think he'd be interested in getting away. Uh, this is a man who was an escapee when he shot Dr. King. He had tried to escape from Missouri State Penitentiary. He tried to escape from this penitentiary in Tennessee at least twice before that we know of. So it's incredible to me that the authorities would have allowed him relatively free play of the institution. I wouldn't be at all surprised if there were some. Um, you know, people who have conspiracy theories were laughed about and joked about 10, 15 years ago, but there's nothing improbable now. And it wouldn't at all surprise me if someday, perhaps not this year or next year, or even when and if James Earl Ray is recaptured, if someday we don't discover that uh, extremely important people in past administrations, and perhaps even some in this one, had something to do with his not being in jail the way he ought to be. And what might their motive be? The motive to get him out of there, to uh, put him in some place where he can't talk, or to put him in a, p in a condition where he can't talk, which is dead. Well, it merely confirmed the belief that I've had all along, and that is that James Earl Ray was not alone in the killing of Dr. King, that it was a part of a conspiracy, and I do not believe that James Earl Ray has escaped. I believe that he was let out of the prison, out of the penitentiary. It is a part of a scheme to actually silence this voice, which I believe, if it's heard, is going to implicate a lot of people in very high places in this country. How are you, have you uh, been getting calls from other people who are associated with Dr. King who are talking about this, speculating? Are you willing to talk for the first time and this escape? Well, it is very strange uh, and uh, somewhat out of the ordinary that uh, during the uh, past few weeks have been before the House Committee on Assassination on several occasions, and um, all at once uh, he escaped, uh, but we, we don't know.